So the GIFT video is rendered, the video driver is updated, the editing software is working properly again, and now, finally, the video is uploaded to YouTube for the second time. <sighs> Maybe the calamity will give me a break, especially since I have all that Thanksgiving prep to do. But hey, at least now I'm all caught up. Hun! Hun! Look what I just caught. What? What? Is that snow? That's a snowball. What? What's going on? What is this? Is this Henry. something new? Yeah. What? What is this? Yule Ball in the Great Hall. It's a new Legends of Hogwarts page. Wizards, this is Professor Rowan. It's been an interesting last week, what with the holiday and the event, which went well. You know, I finally got to the bronze page. Finally. After a lot of work and a lot of walking because I'm not willing to use a silver key on a 1k port key. But regardless of all of that, there's been a lot that's happened since my last video, but I didn't want to make a new one until we got the details for the Brilliant event. So, I will get to that in a moment. First off, all the other things that have happened. There is now a new page in your registry. It has to do with the Yule Ball. It will have foundables focused from that event, such as Hagrid and Miss, Mrs. Maxine, Ms. Maxine. His date, and Fred and his date, Angelina. Um, those are the only two I have seen. There's also one of Harry and his date, who I can't remember her name. Oh, Pavarotti. This was like decades ago. I'm sure there have been other Triwizard tournaments since then. So I find it interesting that we're using this particular one instead of one of the other Yule Balls that have happened over the years. In this new page, there is a Fortress Only Foundable. It is the invitation to the event, or more like a program for the event. Speaking of fortresses, the ability to jump into the fortress faster has been turned back on. They fixed the bug. So if you are going in by yourself, you don't have to wait. You just hit start and go right in. If you are going to be playing with others, you wait until at least one other person is joined, and then you hit the join button, showing everyone that you're ready. Once everyone is in and hit join, then you will go into the fortress. Because of this skip through ability, the timer has increased. It used to be only like 20 seconds and now you get a full two minutes in case you're trying to get a large group together at once, I assume, or, or it's giving you more time to, you know, change your mind as to what runestone you want to take in there. There is going to be a community day. That community day is currently set for December 14th, which is a Saturday which means I may not be able to participate. There is no official confirmation as to what times or anything like that that will be happening, though it will be focusing on a page in the care of magical creatures. I believe it's the first page with Hagrid's hut, um, though I haven't been able to get it a definitive on that one. There is also going to be another event after the brilliant events are over, um, currently called the 12 Tasks of Christmas. I'm assuming it's going to involve tasks, and I'm assuming it's going to be sometime around Christmas. If it's following the traditional 12 days of Christmas, it will be starting on December 25th and ending January 5th, but none of our events so far have been 12 days long, so perhaps it will, perhaps it won't. I honestly don't have any information on that at this time. What I do have information on is the new Brilliant event that starts, if I'm putting this up when I'm expecting to, today at 11 a.m. Pacific time. It is the Christmas Calamity and it runs from December 3rd through December 10th. At least part one of it does. Part two will be running from December 17th through December 24th. So thankfully we will have a week between. <sighs> I have to honestly admit having all those events back to back with no pause between 
was actually kind of hard for me. I had difficulty getting all of the port keys open I wanted to in time because I'm really stingy on my silver keys, and I had difficulty pausing and taking a break and catching my breath between. So I'm very glad that there's going to be a week between week one and week two. So here is going to be everything that you need to know for the brilliant event week one. I don't have any information yet on week two, so this is just going to be week one. Again, just like usual, if you don't want spoilers, why are you watching this channel? There will be two different foundables that you will find out on the map. The first one being Hermione and Victor. Um, in order to finish the page, you will need 10 of them. There also will be a brilliant Hagrid and Miss Maxine. You will also need 10 of those. You will be getting two foundables for completing tasks, the Punch Bowl and a Grumpy Ron Weasley. The Port Keys will be giving you a Yule Ball program. And the port keys, again, are going to be 3K. The 3K port keys will be taking you to the Three Broomsticks. Another new location for our port keys. Which, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but it'll be interesting to go there. Just like last time, this 3K port key will give you this item. It will give you the Yule Ball programs, no matter when you open them. So, if you pick these up, and don't open them till during week two, it will still only give you the Yule Ball programs from week one. The other thing you will be getting is the, from the Wizarding Challenges, is a brilliant ice sculpture, which kind of sounds and looks cool. Um, you do have to get those from Wizarding Fortresses. You will need three of those to complete. And you, in order to get into the Wizarding Fortress to get the brilliant item, you need to use your brilliant runestone, which isn't usually that hard to get. You should have enough brilliant XP to get the runestones you need just from gathering, just from completing the tasks and gathering all of the Hagrid and Maxine's and um, Hermione's and Victor's that you need. This will also be coming with another free store pack. This store pack will be two potent to stimulo potions and 25 energy. For completing everything, you're going to be getting up to 14 restricted tomes, some Yule Ball robes, an ice sculpture frame, um, some animated snowflake stickers, lots of frames and stickers like usual, um, a Yule Ball fancy hat, 50 gold, and also, there's going to be a bonus assignment with more things available there. Um, let's just get into the tasks because these are a little different than before. As of part one, task one of four involves collecting five Yule Ball invitations. Now, from inns, we don't know if what these Yule Ball invitations are, if you're guaranteed them from an inn. Um, there is a assumption that you get either a gift or a Yule Ball, Yule Ball invitation, we are not sure. So you may have to go to more than five inns in order to get the five Yule Ball invitations you need. Also, I'm not expecting the Yule Ball invitations to be something that you can, um, like a sticker or something you can spend or anything like that. It's probably going to be like having to pick up embers from fire foundables in your SOS tasks. It's not actually something that you collect besides as a piece of the task. So you will need the five Yule Ball invitations. You need to collect three medium threat foundables, medium or higher threat foundables, and add one friend. Wolfie and I have been really appreciative of all of the friends that we've gotten from the last Brilliant event. So if you don't have that information, and if you haven't friended us yet for some reason, our friend codes will be on the screen. Somewhere. For completing this task, you get 500 wizarding XP, two restricted section tomes, a lot of brilliant family XP, your Yule Ball robes for your portrait, baneberries, and dragon claws. Not that we are required to brew the potions that those are attached to, but you get some baneberry and dragon claw. So in task two of four, again, we are going to have to collect five Yule invitations, this time from greenhouses. And again, we don't know if those um, come every single time. It's the assumption that you either get a gift or the Yule Ball invitation. 
You also have to brew four potions. Doesn't stipulate what kind of potion, just brew four potions. And remember, when you collect the potion out of your cauldron is when it counts as that item being brewed. So you could brew four overnight while you're sleeping and have them waiting for you when you get up in the morning. You also need to send five gifts, probably to the friend that you just friended in the first part, but not to anyone specific, just to five friends, five gifts. In this one, you get 300 wizarding XP just from the potions alone, a bunch of brilliant family XP, three more restricted tomes, an ice sculpture frame for your portrait. This is where you get the brilliant punch bowl registry sticker. You also get unicorn hair and snowdrop. Again, not for the same, well, could be used for the same potion, but not that it's requiring you to brew that particular potion, it's just giving you those particular ingredients. Part three will be requiring you to collect seven Yule Ball invitations from Gnome Confoundables. So currently we have a, so a expectation um, we don't have it confirmed, but it has been talked about that that means the Gnome Confoundable Foundables will be more prevalent on the map. Those include the Sorting Hat, the uh, which one? Acromantula Eggs, the Beater Bat, um, the Howler, um, any of the ones that you see the Gnome with. There's a, you need to get the Gnome in order to get the invitations. I hope that's clear. You need to win in five wizarding challenges and return five brilliant Hagrid and Ms. Maxine. You're going to get, for completing all of this, at least 1,000 XP, wizarding XP, um, a bunch of brilliant family XP, three more restricted tomes, the snowflake animated portrait sticker, um, Hermione hairpins for your portrait sticker, and two dark detectors. Those dark detectors will be coming in handy in a minute. For part four, task four of four. Now remember, we also have a bonus, but this is the last one that you need to, in order for it to be considered complete. You need to collect 15 Yule Ball invitations, again, from those gnome confoundables. Open three port keys, not unlock three port keys. Open three port keys and return five brilliant Hermione and Victor's. Now, for the port keys, if you have any 1K port keys left over, you know, op uh, unlock as many of those as you can through tasks one through three so that you can open them when you hit to task four. Or this would also be a good time to open those 3K port keys that you are getting for the event as well. The rewards for task four are 750 wizarding XP, a bunch of brilliant XP, the grumpy Ron foundable um, registry page sticker, um, a bunch of stickers and things like that, and 50 gold. And now on to the bonus assignment. As usual, which is weird to say now that we have this as a usual thing, yay, um, as usual it gives its best bonuses when you complete the whole thing, which would be 2,000 wizarding XP. But it also includes um, other good things like dark detectors and a ministry title for your ministry ID, but, but I'm getting ahead of myself. The three tasks that you would have to do for the bonus event are collect 30 Yule Ball invitations from Brilliant Traces. Again, we're not sure if it's going to drop with every single one. We're, we're just not sure. Return 15 high or higher threat foundables. That's where those dark detectors would come in handy. And send 10 gifts. Not even your maximum for a day. Now, if for some reason you don't want to add a new friend, you could delete a friend that you already have and add a new one. Um, eh, if that's something you want to do, but that's not in any way necessary. Um, there's plenty of places where you can find either online or in your community to get more friend codes. And also, in case you haven't friended myself or Wolfie, those codes are also on here. So there you have it, the tasks for the brilliant event that starts probably right about now. <sighs> Sorry I couldn't get this out to you sooner. I'm hoping that I will have this information more than less than 24 hours in advance <laughs> next time.
As always, if these videos are helpful to you, please like, subscribe, share with those that you think will get helpful out of this. Also, we have a Patreon, and a big shout out to our Patreon supporters. Thank you all so very much. I need to get with you to find out what name you want to me to use online when I give the shout outs. Hmm. Put that on my ever-growing to-do list. And as always, my witches and wizards, keep your eyes peeled, your ears open, and your wands ready. Enjoy the brilliant event, starting now. Thank you.